the theme of this video is going to be about what sort of advice which you're going to give to your younger self what sort of advice would you give to your younger self i think the number one thing is just, just how satisfied are you with your life out of 10 how satisfied are you with your life out of 10 at the moment Hello everyone, how are you guys? 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 とてもとてもよく寝れましたとにかく人の失敗とか後悔からこう学べることっていうのはたくさんあって動画を作ってる立場の僕が自分で言うのもあれなんですけど多くの人のためになった動画だと思うし皆さんこういう人の人生の後悔とか結構気になるとか聞いてみたいっていう人多いんですねということで、まあ、今日はちょっと角度を変えて昔の自分にアドバイスをするならなんてアドバイスしますかっていう聞き方でこれやっていきたいと思いますこれしとけよあれしとけよあの男とは付き合うなよあの女の子には貢ぐなよディープなものからこうフランクでシャローなものまでいろいろありそうですがどんな答えが出てくるのか楽しみにしながら早速ここオーストラリアのシドニーはボンダイビーチで外国人にインタビューしていきたいと思います僕のチャンネルではさまざまなトピックに関する外国人へのインタビュー動画を毎週配信してます見るだけで頭の中がグローバル化すること間違いなし面白いと思ってもらえた方はチャンネル登録よろしくお願いしますということで早速いきましょう Where are you from, sir? Uh, Seattle, Washington area. It must be pretty cold now, or? It's a lot chillier there right now than it is here. I can guarantee you that. We don't have this sunshine. Yeah, but do you have a beaches there? We have beaches, but they're not like this. They're not like <laughs> rocky beaches, but they're nothing like this. Okay, so I bet you're having a holiday here now. I am having a holiday, just hanging out for a week and my first time in Australia and we had to come to Bondi Beach today. Oh, that's good, that's good. You must be having a good time then. Having a blast, we're just getting started. Having a blast. It's our first day here. We got off the plane like, oh, really? four, <laughs> hours, like four hours ago. Oh, welcome to Australia then. Thank okay. you very much, I'm glad to be here. Would you mind my asking how old you are, sir? Can you tell by the gray? I'm okay. 54 years old. Are you? you yeah. Look, you look good. Well, thank you. Look you. Good anyway, you yeah? look good too, man. Thank you very much. How old are you? How old do I look? Uh, I'd say 30, 31. Oh, wow, you're good. Yeah, 32. All right, there yeah. you go. Okay, what do you do for work? I am a school administrator. So uh, the theme of this video is uh, what sort of advice are you going to give um, to your youth? Before we dive into the main question, I'm going to ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions, please. Okay. How satisfied are you with your life out of 10? I'd say I'm at an 8 or a 9 most of the time. Oh, you're pretty happy, eh? Yeah. So what is the, the other one or two? I think it's just because the stress of my job and the stress of life mm. can knock it down but I'd say most of the times I'm always operating at eight or nine okay you know school principal sounds like a quite busy job how many hours do you work usually in a week 50 to 60 hours a week that's a lot you yes. work a lot yeah yes it's not a bad stress it's just a good stress because you're trying to help kids that's and you're, you're dealing with you're dealing with people yeah building a children's future yes. that's a good job yeah, yeah. So it's a heavy it's a heavy but positive joyful stress at times too 100 percent. do you have anything that you do in your life to keep yourself happy and up um or like it could be like a rule in your life my rule is i try to get out at least twice a week to the outdoors and do something outside oh really hiking climbing on the river okay like exactly Somebody. what you're doing now exactly i believe you got to get outdoors and refresh your soul yeah what do you get from that like i said it clears my head clears my mind okay. everything kind of floats i just can be present in nature i love going to the remote places and just getting away from everything i agree with you definitely good for our mental health before i'm gonna give you the last question a bit of, about myself i fortunately have a business and it's been pretty good and that fact makes me yeah keeps me happy um it's not a regret but uh when i was like a 19 or 20 uh, people around me used to tell me that oh you you should be doing like youtube or something because you're good at holding conversation you're i think you're a person who's good at it or like you should start learning something and doing it consistently because it's gonna help you make money maybe mm -hmm. in the future successful person whatever yeah however i did nothing until like 29 because i was like i just wanted to do something fun in my life so no effort or no challenges needed at the time that's what your youth is for exactly <laughs> yeah i know and now i feel like okay 
uh, if I'm gonna give advice to myself I uh, in my youth I would say hey like start doing something and start learning when you're young it's gonna build up and you're gonna have something that people don't have when you're like 30 or something like that if you're gonna give advice to yourself in youth what sort of advice are you gonna give for myself and even for youth today I tell them I say find something that you don't mind doing in life mm. and do it with all your might but don't live to work work to live so work is like this opportunity for you to go do something in life that you love doing mm. and chase your dreams but as you're chasing your dreams, sometimes you gotta be, well, I wouldn't say sometimes, you gotta be intentional. If you wanna go after a dream, you gotta be intentional and you have to have a plan, but don't forget to live in the moment. Don't get so consumed with what you're pursuing. Yeah. You forget to be present in the moment of what you're doing and what's around you. Right, so make sure you have a goal and make sure you're facing the goal and keep um, doing your effort towards it, but don't forget to enjoy the moment. Yeah, it's, this, it's that balance. It's that yin and the yang and the zen of like chasing your dreams, but being present in the moment so yeah. you don't pass it by and looking back with regret. That's true, and you're living the moment right now, having a good time in Australia. I hope you have a good time, yeah? Yeah. All right, thank okay. you. Thank you very much. You bet. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Sydney, Australia. You're from Sydney, Australia, and what have you been up to today? Uh, I just came to enjoy the sun and go sunbaking on the beach. This is very random, but the theme of this video is going to be about what sort of advice would you give to your younger self? Um, so before we dive into the main question, let me ask you some questions about yourself, please. Would you mind asking your age? I'm 29. 29? Yeah, I'm 29. You, you look pretty young, yeah? For 29. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what do you do for a career? I'm a communication specialist. Communication yeah. specialist? So am I. I talk, I talk to people, That this is my job. So w w what is that? Like what, what do you do in that job? So I work in, a, in the business yeah. um, and I deal with internal clients. Yeah. So we have lots of different departments in our, in our uh, business yeah. and uh, in our de there's departments there that I look after in all their communication needs. So that can be internal or external. So if they want to communicate something that they're doing a special project, for example, mm. to the rest of the business, then I will come up with a communications plan to get that um, communications out there, but also external. So if you think about social media, um, I will then help create the content. So that's creating the text, creating right. content, taking photos, editing images for them. I'm very sorry about my uh, lack of vocabulary, <laughs> but that job sounds interesting and fun. Is it the job that you wanted to get since you're like a young guy? I went to university and yeah. I studied journalism. Right. I figured that journalism is not for me because I'm not mm. super extroverted okay. and I'm not super opinionated. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt like I, it was out of my depth to um, to continue in that career. Okay. Um, but communications and public relations is something that you use similar skills for. Yeah. So I went into that direction. Right. Um, and I feel like it's something that I am quite good at. and you connect with a lot of people mm. um, and I think that's something that I take pride in. Okay, I love communicating good. with other people and I love understanding and getting to know people on a personal level but also being able to um, provide business needs for them too. Right. How satisfied are you with your life out of 10 at the moment? Out of 10 I would say you know 9 out of 10. Wow. Only because I think you know every day you do something to make yourself feel happy so yeah. that's something that i always try to do i will do work monday to friday so mm -hmm. that means most of my day is occupied by work yeah. um, so something to make my life more fulfilling besides my career is making sure that i do something that makes me happy in the time that i'm not working yeah. so usually that's going to the gym or sometimes that's going to the beach yeah um and that's something that i really enjoy and i think if i can go to bed every day knowing that i've done something to make myself happy then i feel fulfilled in my life wow it's good that you know how you make yourself happy you know people not many people know that actually i think so let's go to the main question of this video but before that a bit about myself fortunately i have my business and it's been good and that fact makes me happy keeps me happy but when I was younger, 19, 20, my friend used to tell me that, hey, you should start doing because you want to make your life better, right? Like, younger the better, the earlier the better. But I didn't do anything because I was like a lazy ass and just wanted to do something fun. So I regret. So my advice to my youth is going to be like, hey, start doing something. Like, do not think too much. Just do it and keep doing it. Because when you grow up, 
it's going to be bigger. If I have done that, I would have been able to come here with a helicopter, I think. <laughs> Super rich. And also, I was not good at like getting help from people. I couldn't ask. Maybe that's my pride and didn't want to get the help from people. But I think it's important to be able to ask someone help. So that's what I will say to myself. What sort of advice are you going to give to yourself, to uh, younger yourself? Honestly, if I could speak to myself um, in the past, I would say to not be so serious about life and really enjoy mm. every day. Um, I went from going from high school straight into university and then say, from university straight into full-time work. And I never really gave myself a break. Oh, um, so right. being career focused at such a young age, I feel like you do um, you do have regrets when you're older that you didn't get a time to travel. So yeah. I think that's one big thing that if I could go back in time, right. I would travel and do more adventurous things. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're younger, your health is you know at its peak. Yeah. Um, your your physical body is yeah, at its peak. Yeah. Um, so I think you really need to take advantage of that time where you are at your prime to really do the more adventurous so things true. in life. Um, so definitely travel. Um, and also don't don't think don't be so serious about saving money at that mm. age I think you know especially if you're still living at home mm. with your parents and they're more than happy to look after you yeah I think that definitely put your money towards experiences invest your money towards experiences. that's right because you can't take time back but you can always make money that's true and I feel like that's something that I've really just understood um, being older because now that I'm older and I've been able to save that money I haven't thought about Oh, I'm gonna save more money. Yeah, yeah I've yeah, always yeah. thought, you know what? I'm gonna invest that into travel because there's so many things that your eyes can see. You know, I've grown up in Australia, and there is so much more in the world. And I've also been to Japan, and I, oh, really? when I yeah, when I went to Japan, I thought, wow, this is such a different universe that yeah. I would have missed out if I didn't put that money into traveling. True. So I think it's definitely give yourself time to experience new new um, surroundings, new yeah. environments, um, but also look after your health. People focus on, you know, the drinking culture, partying. Yeah, too crazy um, sometimes. Yeah, they yeah. go really crazy, you know, after high school. But I kind of feel like if you invest in your health, you're doing your future self a favor. Yeah, that's um, true. I feel it. I feel it now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But that's something that's a habit, I think. Yeah. It's something, it's a habit that you should probably start when you're younger. So when you're older, you don't take that stuff for granted and you won't regret it. That's what changed my life as well like when I was younger especially like a teenager and also university time my mom my mom especially used to tell me that save money save money don't waste your money but I spend all all into the travelings and all that and I don't regret anything I don't break my mom but it's important to invest your money towards the experiences and as you as you said like in Australia so many people do that they travel all around the world experience and I think they seem happy so it's really important and now I understand you're really really good at talking and super good at uh, expressing your feeling you're the professional thank, <laughs> thank you very much for your help thank you. please enjoy your day <laughs> thank you where are you from uh, from Sydney from Sydney yep. Sydney Australia okay good looking man from Sydney Australia how old are you guys uh, 26 26 27 good age good age yeah, yeah. how old do I look <laughs> if I had to guess Depends I'm who's sorry. asking <laughs> <laughs> maybe mid 20s 25 uh, 25 yeah how old do I look I'd say anywhere between 27 to 30 Oh yeah, close, pretty close, yeah, 32. 32. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, good for your age, man. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, this is very random, but yeah. the theme of this video is going to be about what sort of advice which you're going to give to your younger self. What do you do for a career? Uh, I do air conditioning, I have my own business. What is it, sorry? So oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the construction field. Oh, okay, right, right, yeah. right. I work in IT, so I'm an engineer. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're hiding uh, your big muscle under the under suit, the shirt, yeah? yeah? Under the shirt. <laughs> exactly right. you don't uh, doing, doing this, yeah? That's it. You don't yeah. need this muscle to do that job. <laughs> okay. How satisfied are you uh, with your life at the moment, out of 10? At the moment, I'd say seven. <laughs> seven, yeah? yeah? What is the three? What is the, the other three? Visiting countries. Visiting countries. countries yeah, exploring the world. Right. So you're uh, missing that. Yeah. And okay. obviously, marriage with kids and all that. Marriage with That's the kids and all that, yeah? Into, yeah? Okay. Still have a room to improve? 100%. What do you think? I reckon probably eight out of 10. Yeah, the eight. two that I'd work on probably, yeah, be family and kids. That's one point. Yeah. Um, and working on myself to just be a better version of myself. Yeah, I'm not, right. I haven't reached my best yet. Okay, yeah. better stay in the gym and look for uh, fit ladies, yeah? That's not everything, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Do you have anything that you do in your life to keep yourself happy, to keep yourself up, motivated? To be honest, I actually meditate. Meditate? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I train. 
obviously I work out. So do I um, actually. Work, I meditate too. <laughs> working keeps me sane. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I mean, life's doing good. Okay. At the moment, yeah. What do you think? I'd say training, going to the gym, being in the sun, going for walks, staying healthy. Yeah, like um, literally what you, like you're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Literally doing on a Saturday. Yeah. Um, and I'd say hobbies. So whatever hobbies you enjoy. What's your hobby? Mine's fishing. Fishing? Fishing and riding bikes, yeah. So is mine as well. What the yeah. heck? What the heck's happening? Yeah, I, I go <laughs> fishing and I do meditate. Yeah, nice bro, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm like you then. <laughs> same. Yeah, same mentality. <laughs> same mentality. Okay, the last question is going to be like this. What sort of advice would you give to yourself and youth? To be honest, um, Staying out of trouble, that's firstly. Stay out of trouble. You yeah. are a bit in a wild... I was a wild... bit rebellious, yeah. Okay, When yeah. I was young. Yeah. Um, obviously start a trade when, when I actually got out of school. So mm. I actually started very late. So okay. um, I started at the age of 18. Oh, I'm 26 now. Okay, so yeah. if I was a bit younger and I had started the trade, I would have been somewhere by now. Yeah. A bit more further. Yeah, that, right, right. In the path in life. But apart from that, yeah. Start earlier, yeah? Start yeah. earlier. The earlier, the better. Earlier, the better. In earlier, life. The better. 100%. Mm. What do you think? I'd say pretty much the same. Um, I wish I'd started everything that I'm doing now younger. Yeah. As in like when it comes to obviously gym, fitness, focusing on your health, focusing on your finances, focusing on your career. I should have done everything a lot younger. Um, that way I would have probably shed like three years of progress that I waited that I waited to get to where I'm now. Right, right. So if I start everything younger right now, it'd obviously be way more higher, but it is what it is. You okay. can't go back in time. But I reckon, I, I, as I see, I reckon you guys are focused on your gold now and yeah, you're doing yeah. well, so, okay. 100%. Thank you very much, eh? No Please enjoy your day. No worries. Take care. Thank you. Where are you from? Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. And I'm a big fan of Sunnies and I like your Sunnies. <laughs> Where did you get it? A little store just up on diet. Oh, it's not like an expensive brand or anything? Not not super brand. Not super not, brand? Like, yeah, okay. I don't do loads of brand stuff. Hey, maybe you're naturally looking good, yeah? That's why the sun <laughs> Sunnies looks good on you. Would you mind my asking how old you are now? I'm 25. 25. The theme of this video is going to be about what sort of advice, what kind of advice would you give to your younger self mm -hmm. to your younger self and uh, before we dive into the main question yeah. uh, let me ask you some uh, small questions about yourself okay. what do you do for work um, I'm a market research consultant so Ooh, right. it's just a lot of data analysis it's right. not not too crazy <laughs> sounds like a good money job then um, it's okay and uh, you work in a company right yeah okay is it the job that you wanted to do since you're like young age or uh, no, definitely not. I feel like I've never had a real idea of what I want to do. Oh, so really? we're still figuring it out. <laughs> so how did, you, how did you end up with that job? I did psychology in uni, which was a lot of statistics. Yeah. So oh, I see. yeah, kind of fell into it from that. This is very random question, but <laughs> how satisfied are you with your life at the moment? Out of 10? Out of 10. I'd say an 8.5. <laughs> Man, Australian people are happy. <laughs> Australian people are happy. 8.5. So what is the 1.5? I want to do more traveling, which is, should be coming up. I want to experience some more stuff, yeah. not just... Where are you going? Uh, Europe. Uh, Europe. <laughs> typical. Typical, <laughs> typical, but still good, you know. I, I've been to Europe many times too. Do you have anything that you do in your life to keep yourself happy, up and motivated? I feel like exercise is a big one. Yeah, do you go to gym? You go to that gym? I've just started going to the just gym. Just started going to the gym. Um, I've never had a membership, but I've always done Pilates and like netball and team sports. So. Oh, that's why you look fit. Because I was getting like, there, are you just getting there? Are you getting there? Because you're like, oh, I just started going to the gym, and you, you can't look like that, you know. You, if you don't go to the gym, so okay, so fitness. Yeah. Yeah, fitness. I think it's important. important. Okay, let's go to the main question and I know it's going to be a tricky one, but uh, what sort of advice would you give to your younger self? I think the number one thing is just to stop caring what other people think. Oh, did you care? Oh, so much. I still care too much. Really? And I feel like, yeah, I think the best thing is just to do your own thing, get advice from other people, but stop stressing about their opinion of you. Right. So that's how you, that's what you are trying at the moment. Like, yeah. okay, try not to listen too much at the other yeah. people, listen to yourself. Yeah, yeah just do true. your own thing, go flow. Yeah. That's true, that's true. Are you doing doing good with that now? Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, trying, trying. <laughs> okay, right, thank you very much, yeah? No worries. Please enjoy the super beautiful beach day. Thanks.
Thanks, you too. Thank you. はいということでですねここまで昔の自分にどんなアドバイスしますかというテーマでインタビュー取ってきたんですがもう確かにってポイントがもうすごいあったこんなに一日で確かにって思うことあるって感じなんですけどオーストラリアのお姉さんが言ってたように多くの日本人も、まあ、いつの間にかこう人の意見を気にしすぎたりとか人の意見を聞きすぎてこう自分が求めてた人生とは違う形の人生を生きちゃってるなんていう人もね結構多いんじゃないですかあとあの黒髪の,あのオーストラリアのお姉さんねなんかコミュニケーションの仕事をしてますみたいなこと言ってたけど、うん、話すのうますぎでしょっていうねちなみに撮影止めてからの方が撮影してた時よりさらにいっぱい話してくれましたからねそしてマッチョのお兄さんたちが言ってましたこれ僕もすごく共感 The earlier the better より早い方がいいんだよはい本当にその通りなんですね頭に刻み込みましょう The earlier the better より早い方がいいんだよ The earlier the better より早い方がいいんだよねゴロが悪い概要欄にあるタラサクの公式 LINE では18歳の時点でビードすら分からず偏差値38の大学学部を2つ受験して見事に滑り落ちたところから僕がどうやってほぼ半年で日常英会話を習得したのかとか英語が話せるようになるとは一体どういうことなのかなど1000人以上の日本人の英語をすでに見させていただいた僕の経験を分かりやすく教材にしてプレゼントさせていただいておりますそれに加えて来てくれた人が誰でも楽しくコンパクトに英語が学べちゃう、えー、有料級の動画教材もこれ無料で公開させていただいております公式 LINE 限定の英語学習コンテンツこれからも出していきますしここだけの限定告知もありますのでぜひ少しでも英語話せるようになりたいという方はこの機会を絶対に見逃さないよう概要欄の一番上のリンクから、えー、田中の公式 LINE ですね友達追加してください昔の自分になんてアドバイスするだろうかそんなこといきなり道端で聞かれてあんなにちゃんと答えられるコミュ力と表現力は一体何者なんだってねそしてこのスタイル抜群と超絶意識高い系の人たちがつのこのよく撮影してるボンダイビーチっていうところに僕も私も一度でいいから行ってみたい行ってみたいって僕のチャンネルを何度も見てるうちにそんな風に思い始めちゃってるあなたがそこにいるのであれば見るだけで頭の中グローバル化しちゃったんだよ最後まで見てくれた皆さんありがとうございます面白いと思ってもらえた方はチャンネル登録忘れずに高評価も忘れずにまた次の動画でお会いしましょう